This video is going to serve as a quick introduction to the concept of limits. This is a concept which is really fundamental to all of calculus, but today we're just going to begin to talk about what they are, and you'll find that what a limit actually is is pretty straightforward. Let's begin with the function f of x equals x minus 2 over x minus 2. Now this simplifies to just f of x equals 1, but there's a discontinuity where x equals 2, because there's a hole, meaning the graph is going to look something like this. Because there's this hole at x equals 2, f of 2 is undefined. But even though we can't find f of 2, what we can find is the limit of the function as x approaches 2. All this means is that as x gets closer and closer to 2 on either side, a certain y value is approached, and that's going to be the limit. On this graph, the function approaches 1 from both the left and the right sides, so that we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is 1. Let's do a second example of finding a limit. g of x can be defined as x cubed when x doesn't equal 2, but 4 when x does equal 2. Again, we have a discontinuity, but in this example, f of 2 is defined as 4. We can visually find the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 by looking at the graph, or if you have a function that you don't want to graph, you can find the limit by creating a table of values. Plugging in x values for g of x that get closer and closer to 2 on a calculator, we can tell if the y values approach 8. So even though g of 2 equals 4, we have now shown both graphically and numerically that the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 is actually 8, even though the graph at that point is a whole. What do you think would happen if the graph approached a different value from the left side than it did from the right side? To find out, to learn more about limits, go check out the reading link here.